Hi, I'm David from Coding is for Losers. And today let's talk about Data Studio. It's Google's free new super sexy dashboarding tool. It's what I'm using for all of my uh, reporting projects these days in my, my work with digital agencies. Um, and it's a great complement to Google Sheets add-ons like Supermetrics that allow you to pull data from a bunch of different sources into Data Studio. So in this kind of video, we'll walk through how to build a dashboard in Data Studio that uses Supermetrics to pull in Facebook ads and AdWords data into a Google Sheet. So you can think of this as kind of like a multi-channel paid acquisition dashboard in Data Studio. The tools in use for this dashboard will be Supermetrics, Facebook ads data, AdWords data, and also Google Data Studio to build the actual reporting. And the final output here is a simple Data Studio dashboard that lets you filter date ranges, filter which channel you'd like to look at in charts, whether it's only AdWords or both AdWords and Facebook. Um, and it has a, a number of tables comparing all of your all of your campaigns across AdWords and Facebook, um, your cost for per conversion by channel. The couple test campaigns I ran for this didn't have any conversions. If you're a <laughs> Facebook or AdWords expert, um, definitely reach out to me because I could use some help with ads. Um, clicks and conversions by channel. So this is Facebook and AdWords just clicks for these couple small campaigns I ran. And then your top campaigns by month um, and top campaigns overall. So what you can see is this has all of your ad campaign metrics from impression, spend, cost per click, conversions, clicks, and cost per action, um, the percentage change over the, the previous time period, a number of different cuts and, and charts breaking down this data. But the key thing is, is that it has AdWords and Facebook side by side all of your campaigns that you're running across multiple channels. And that's really key with Data Studio. But this Data Studio dashboard really only comes together with the help of this Google Sheet, um, which connects to Supermetrics and does all of our data wrangling for us so that we can make these clean charts. Um, so let's walk through how this sheet is kind of put together. Um, there's a separate tab for each AdWords, Facebook, and Google Analytics data, which we'll, we'll use to track our actual sessions and, and conversion numbers to keep it consistent across Facebook and AdWords. Um, each of these essentially pulls data in from Supermetrics and is a separate Supermetrics query. So we'll go through setting up AdWords, Facebook, and Google Analytics Supermetrics queries. Um, and then the magic here really just happens in these two other tabs. Um, one, the aggregated data tab, which as you can see here, I'll zoom in a little bit, pulls together all of the campaign stats by month for each of the campaigns that we're running. So these one each Facebook and Google campaigns that I ran, the spend, impressions, clicks, click to rate, all of that good stuff um, based on just the campaign for that month. So there's some Google Sheets magic that's happening there, and I'll talk through specifically what that is. And then lastly, um, the campaign setup tab of this, this template allows you to specify the UTM source and campaign for each of your Facebook or AdWords campaigns. And this is important because the UTM tags are what allow you to cross match the uh, Google Analytics data for the campaign. So all of the all of the magic that happens in the aggregated data tab to pull in your supermetrics data really is driven by how do you set up your campaigns here. So let's dive into kind of the nitty gritty on the on the getting started tab of the template. You can see step by step instructions. Um, let's kind of get into the nitty gritty of, of how this sheet comes together. So the first thing is, we're using the Supermetrics add-on, like I mentioned. So we'll wanna launch Supermetrics and get that going. There's a link in the template to install it if you don't have it already installed. Let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see this whole picture. Um, and the first thing we we'll wanna do in Supermetrics 
is make sure that we have accounts connected for each of these tools that we're going to use. So if you look in the data source pane of Supermetrics, for me, I have, you know, I have Facebook ads connected here. I have Google Analytics connected here. Um, and I also have, let's see, AdWords up at the top. No, it's just there. And I also have AdWords connected there. So I already have all of my accounts connected. Um, that's the step two here. And steps three through five are really pulling in that, that raw data into each of the tabs. So all you really have to do there is go to the tab itself and up will pop up in the Supermetric sidebar the query itself. And all you have to do is, is modify it, select your account, and apply changes and it will pull data for you. I should pull the exact same data I had before. There we go. Great. And then you'll want to do the same thing. Same thing for Facebook. Um, you'll want to modify this query and same exact thing for Google Analytics. Um, so that's really pulling the data in. It's, it's really simple and straightforward um, to modify one of these Supermetrics queries. I have it already configured with the dates that you want, all of the metrics that you need here, you know, your spend, impression, clicks, cost per click, all of these metrics. Um, and I have the, the split set up so that it splits out a different row for each year and month. So that'll allow you to track your campaigns across months if you're running campaigns for say two to three or four months. So your splits are already all, all configured here. Um, and the key thing, the really the only thing you have to do in the Supermetrics query is check this box that says format results for Google Data Studio. Um, and what this really does is make sure that our dates are in the correct format. So if you look at cell A2 here, we want dates in this year, 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 month, month, date, date format. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Um, for data studio, your dates have to be in this format. But thankfully, Supermetrics does that for us with this checkbox. So that's all you really need to do in Supermetrics. These dates and metrics are all set up for you. You just need to set your account. Cool. So once we have all of our data together, that's kind of where the magic happens in Google Sheets. Um, getting all of this data together from Google Analytics, Facebook and AdWords, um, for each of the campaigns that you've set up in this campaign setup tab, really requires just a few, a few not so simple formulas, but they will be simple once you see how they're put together. There's VLOOKUP, and this array formula is just kind of copying the, the formulas down the cells down the rows. There's query, like we talked about here, with an array formula. And there's VLOOKUP with an array formula. And all the array formulas do are make it so you don't have to have uh, formulas in individual cells. And there's some, yeah, some other VLOOKUPs here of Google Analytics data and doing some math of, of cost per acquisition and conversion rate. But Really simple stuff. I recommend just diving into those formulas, um, trying to break them. But the only time you'll need to play around with those too much is if you're adding new um, new sources. So that's really it with the actual setup of the template in Google Sheets. You could just look at this data. You know, now you have aggregated data, or you could push it up to this Data Studio template. And all you really need to do to do that is make a copy of the Data Studio template from the link in the Sheets uh, kind of instructions. OK, here we go. So all you need to do is select this Use Template button, select your data source. Um, in my case, I'm just using this template, right? But you'll want to select some other source from, from your Google Sheets uh, kind of library. And yeah, once you've connected your, your data, it will create the report for you. And here we are. We have all of our data together, um, all of our charts and tables. 
Data Studio is really, really simple to use. Um, you can click on any of these charts and the setup will pop up in the sidebar. You can play around with uh, adding and removing columns here, whether dimensions or metrics. Same concept as Google Analytics dimensions or metrics. Um, you can do a change the comparison from the previous period to, to like the previous year, or change your date ranges around. Really just get your feet wet with this Data Studio sidebar. It's very intuitive to use and you can really kind of customize and hot rod this report. One more thing I almost forgot to mention before we go. Uh, if you wanna set up triggers to run this report every hour, every night, on whatever cycle you wanna refresh your data, you can do that within Supermetrics. And all you have to do is click on this blue dropdown Ah, wrong drop down. The the drop down to the right and select schedule refresh and emailing. And if you go in here and just set up a trigger of just refresh daily at a given time and select store trigger, that will rerun your AdWords, your Facebook, and your Google Analytics queries and pull fresh data into your sheet on that schedule. So that's really all for the uh, this multi-channel ad campaign dashboard in Supermetrics. Um, I hope you've gotten a good feel for how you can set up Sheets templates like this to combine multiple data sources, and then how you can push them up to Data Studio to make uh, your daily, monthly, weekly, whatever type of reporting you need to make in your work. So I um, hope you enjoyed diving into all of these and that this was helpful.